Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with episode two of my floss tube. Uh, first things first, I want to thank everyone for being so supportive of my first episode. Thank you so very much. Um, I was so nervous. I made a few mistakes. I caught them when I watched it back, but that's okay. So this part of my channel is just going to basically be um, really an open book. I'm just going to be talking to you guys if you want to work on something, um, whether it's diamond painting or cross stitch or whatever you have going on at the time. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to be talking to you guys about um, what I'm doing as a beginner and learning a new craft with cross stitch. So you may hear some mistakes as I'm talking, but that's the whole point. I want to see as I grow <laughs> that I'll do better. Like I kept calling um, these cover minders because that's what we call them in the diamond painting world, but in the cross stitch world, they're called needle minders. So I'll be okay. So anti who? So thank you guys so much for supporting the first episode. I really appreciate it. Um, so episode two, I will be talking about supplies and accessories that I have purchased um, within these past few months, which is quite a bit. Uh, when I was going through it, I recorded this earlier. I'm having to do this whole video over again. When I went to go watch it, I had something on my face. I think it was because I wiped my face with a paper towel. So then I had excess fuzz on my face and I was like, Lord have mercy. I can't, I just deleted the whole thing. So I'm starting over. That's just me being honest. That's exactly what happened. So anywho. So we're gonna talk about um, what I purchased and I think what I'm going to start with is my little cross stitch bag. I think that's what I'm going to start with. My little cross stitch bag. This is it here. It's just this little bag. It just says life is beautiful. I have no idea where I got this. But it's just like a little makeup bag. And I keep um, a lot of my small little um, accessories and supplies in here that I use for cross stitch. And I'm just going to show you some of the stuff I have in here. Uh, first things first is these little scissors. I got these from the Dollar General. Um, I'm sorry, from the Dollar Store and a dollar twenty-five cents. Let me tell you, they work. They do exactly what they're supposed to. They cut the thread, they cut it evenly, and they cut it the first time. Period. Um, these can get expensive, but with me just starting out, I just got myself a little small, cheap little pair. Um, I do keep some of my flat needle minders in here. So like here's one here with a needle attached to it. So I do keep the ones that I will use for diamond painting that are flat. I usually keep them pretty close to me. Not all of them, just some, a few. Uh, I also have highlighters. So if I have a paper pattern that I'm working with and I need to I will mark off the area that I've already done so I know that part is counted that part has been cross stitched and I don't need to go back to that portion so I would just use the little highlighters and you want to use a highlighter because if you want to make a copy of that pattern again and change up the colors and things like that the highlighter won't show on the copy uh, I have some DMC needles in here. I couldn't tell you what size these were for anything. It says number one through five. I usually hear everyone uses a 24, but these are pointed at the bottom, which is nice. Having them when they are more blunt, more round at the bottom, those are okay. But when you're going through, um, trying to go back through a hole that you've already put thre three threads through, it can be a little bit difficult. So the more pointier needle, the more sharper needle, that's what I like. Um, the next thing I have in here are my little DMC code stickers. I will use these for my plastic bobbins 
that I put my DMC thread on. Not, um, these stickers won't be used for anything else but DMC floss thread. So I have those. And then I have this thread cutter here. I got this from AliExpress. I was just being bougie. You see what it looks like? I was just being bougie, so I bought it. <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> so I got that. And trust me, I use that. And this here, this is by Jan Lin. I got it from Walmart. It is a needle threader. I have two. These were less than a dollar at Walmart. If you buy the DMC brand of this, you're going to pay six bucks for it. So I have this one. And it's three ways, of course, to thread your needle. And these are nice. And I bought an extra one just to have, just in case I lost that one or something happened to it. And then I have, which I need to put this one away too. Give me one second. Um, this bag of rings. Here's the ring here. And the plastic DM, I'm sorry, the plastic bobbins. DMC does sell these bobbins, but so does uh, Jalen. I just buy the Jalen brand because they are, and I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if it's Jalen or Jalen, but it's because they're cheaper and they're plastic. You can write on them. You can use the sticker. Uh, I actually use it like this when I'm doing my cross stitch. Some people use the, what is it called? Floss drops. You can buy those. They're real pretty. I'm not there yet. I feel like I'm not experienced enough and just put in enough time to do fancy stuff like that. So I just use mine like this. So that's how I, whatever I'm working on, if it doesn't already come with the floss card or anything like that, and uh, the floss is on bobbins, I'll do this to do my project. So that is what I keep in my little cross stitch baggie and it goes where I, I go whenever I'm gonna cross stitch. Um, the next thing I wanna show you guys are the type of hoops or the type of things that I use to hold my um, patterns, my, um, what do they call this? Object, my object. <laughs> I'm gonna learn this vocab no matter what. Um, so I'll show you guys what I have. This I just purchased. I just literally purchased this one yesterday. Today's the fifth. So I just purchased this at Michael's. And it's a snap frame. So you just snap them together. Then, oh, is that what she was talking about? This girl was saying it was a little hard to get off. She went lying. Oh, she's not lying. Hold on. This is real life, y'all. Bro. Wait a minute. <gasps> she went lying. She did. She said, I bought it. And then after I bought it, I saw a review. But I see people use these all the time. Is it me? Am I the problem? Oh. So, <laughs> you take this off. You would take all four of them off. And then you would wrap your object, your canvas, your Ada, your cloth on here. Snap it back on. And then you would twist it to make it taut, to make it tight. So you can um, go ahead and do your cross stitch and start threading. I do not cross stitch holding the um, pattern in my hand. I like using some type of hoop or something that can give it tension. Uh, so we're gonna have to see about this. This one is my favorite. This one is definitely, definitely my favorite. I got this from Timu. <gasps> Lord, please don't let my battery die on me, guys. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. 
So I got this one from Timu. And you did have to put it together. And it does have these screws in all four corners. And it has the plastic at the top here. These can come off. When you put your pattern back on there, you snap them back on and then you can rotate them backwards or forwards, either to make it looser or tighter. I love this. I love, 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 love this. There's only one more that I wanna get. I wanna kinda get that standing one and it's round. I kinda wanna get one of those. It has the stand. Um, otherwise, I have these. I'm missing one right now. I'm not sure where I put it but four came to a pack. These are plastic. The, their sizes that are printed on here. Um, they're in millimeters. It comes with the screw there. These ones are okay. I haven't um, used, it, used them a lot. This one I was using for the sloth, the um, stamped cross stitch of the sloth. I was using this one. So, these are okay. I think I gotta get used to the shape and actually being able to put them on the canvas correctly so it's nice and tight. Uh, and then I have the standard cross stitch, whether it's plastic or whether it's, is it bamboo? It, whether it's bamboo, this one came from the Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of times when I get my patterns from the different store, craft stores, it comes with the bamboo six inch circle or eight inch circle. So it's just this and it has a screw at the top. And the plastic, let's see. One second. This goes behind your canvas this one goes on top. At least that's how I do mine. That's how I do mine. And then you tighten it once you have it in there, adjust it correctly. So I have it in plastic and I also have it in the bamboo and they're all round. Any of one, I believe I just have six, a six inch, well, a few six inches and then the eight inch. Okay, so those are what I use to hold my work. The next thing, sorry, I'm gonna be out of frame quite a bit. I apologize. Um, the next thing I would say that I have that I use are these bags here. Oops. I got these from Amazon. 10 bags came in this set of each color yellow uh pink green blue and clear and i'll show you what it looks like this i like these i like these i made this like so long ago it's my little hello kitty and he has a rilakuma hoodie on i made that out of polymer clay so i just attached it to the bag but I like these. I like um, the material they're made out of. There's a zipper here. You can see through it, see your project that you're gonna be working on. And it's the perfect, perfect, perfect size. Um, I do have this tin. You guys have seen this before from my diamond painting days, but I'm starting to keep some of my needle miters in there and then attaching the needles to this because it's just like a magnet. So um, with this being metal and then having the magnets in there, it just makes it a lot neater. I also have these envelopes that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're $1.25 each. I have canvases and those, and they're just a snap. And everything fits in there really nicely. It's nice and organized. So I have the bags 
and these envelopes. I think I'm gonna continue using the envelopes. I like them a lot. And put that in front of me, out of the way. Um, another supply that I that I use is I have been purchasing Ada. I just I haven't bought any like dyed Ada from an Etsy store. I've looked around. I've seen quite a bit that I do like, but I haven't actually purchased anything yet. So like this one came from Walmart, and it's just 14 count white Ada, and. It's 15 by 18 inches, and of course you would need to cut it. And then I have a couple that I got from Joann's that are both 14 count. One is Fiddler's Cloth, this is DMC. And I use this one for my Autumn Acorns project. And then this one, I think this is so weird. It doesn't like have a name or a color or anything, but it's almost like a peach stone wash. It's pretty, but it's almost like a peach stone wash. So it's darker than lighter in some areas. And those are both DNC products and they both came from Joanne Fabrics. And it, and just to give you guys just a real quick, um, I don't know, back up if you haven't seen my first video. I just started cross stitching this year, this fall. And so this is me just basically recording my journey on doing the whole cross stitch thing and starting from the beginning for those of you who are interested in cross stitch so we can like kind of work alongside together and grow together with the craft and so some things you'll see and may question on why did you do this that and the other it's because i didn't know no better so i was just trying to i don't know you have to you try it if it don't work you try something else <laughs> so that's what that is um the next thing is this cross stitch magazine. Uh, my Michaels do, my Michaels, they don't have these. They have crochet every thing. It's 60, I'm sorry. Why well, ain't lying? It could be 60 books. They're all crochet. They're all crochet or what's the other one? Knitting, stuff like that. No cross stitch. So Joann's had this and I have marked off quite a few and that's where I got my first completed counted cross stitch from is out of this magazine. This is really nice. I know they have digital patterns and you can get the books from your library or you can get them off your digital library like Libby um, and whatnot, but I like having the paper in my hands so I got this and I love having this. And it had 26 projects in here and then the magazine was like $7. So it was a it was a really good buy. Let me say it like that. It was a really good buy. Um Is that Okay, I think that's it on that. Okay. So the next thing I have <clears throat> are my DMC floss. These mugs are expensive. So I will tell you now, these will not be purchased <laughs> um, unless I have a coupon. So normally it'll be a 40% off coupon off one regular price item. Right now I have a 50% off coupon for Joann's for one regular price item this. So these are um, collection sets that are here. This one is what's the better buy. This one has 36 in it and this is the home decor collection. Sorry about that glare. And that was from Michaels and this was from Joann's. It has 27 I'm sorry, and this is the gold collection. 
I almost bought the popular color collection from Michaels, but I didn't. I bought a new kit and then I bought the snap frame, but I almost got that instead. I will not be buying those kits. I'm sorry, I will not be buying those bundles without a coupon. I mean, they're like 25. I mean, all the way up to, I saw something that was like $70. Crazy, crazy. <clears throat> so, yes. And just, um, I don't know if everybody else knew this. I kind of touched on it in my car blog. I thought DMC was some kind of coloring chart coding. It's not. That's the name of the business. That's the acronym for the business. The business is in France and the name of the business is French. And because, you know, it may be a little bit more difficult for us to um, pronounce here in the States, they just, you know, it just has DMC on here. But yeah, it's a whole company. And I literally thought DMC was just some coloring chart situation. No. That's from doing diamond painting for so long. It's actually the name of a company. Um, <clears throat> the next little thing I have, I bought this thinking it was going to be empty. I wanted it to be empty so I could put my DMC floss inside of it, but no, it's full. This was $10, $9.99. I got it from Amazon. I will definitely put the link to this if you're interested. In the description box below, I hope they still have it on sale. Uh, it comes apart. You have your two sections. Sorry, two sections. There's 80 paper uh, floss bundles in here. There's some here. And then there's some... Here. I don't want to spill anything. It's a total of 80. And then, which is awesome, you get, oh, can you guys see? Can you see? Can you see that? It gives you the DMC code. That got to be the DMC code. I know that's got to be the DMC code. If it's not, I'll put it in the video. But it says 300. It doesn't say the name. They feel nice. And they also have, I'm sorry, one moment. They also have this metallic. Now this one feel, these feel weird. They almost feel like spongy almost. <laughs> but it has these two metallic. I got a bunch of black and a, a bunch of white. And then I got like the ombre. The ombre colors, which I have some of those already also. Is that not cool? I had no idea. I literally thought this was going to be empty. When I opened the box, I was like having a fit because I had no idea. I was so shocked. And I was like, Susan, you just open that on camera. But anywho, let me show you guys. So it's a pair of scissors, which is this. And it comes with the safety cover. And it has the 80 embroidery threads. And then it has the measuring tape here, a seam opener, which is here. I had another one of little of these at, um, I bought from Walmart. I can't find it. So <laughs> this, and then it's a button set. Sorry. The button set. And then this sponge, what is this for? Is it, am I supposed to get this wet and then put it on my fingers? What is this for? Tell me what this is for. And I got a threader, which is one of these little things here. And 
It says an aluminum threader. Where is that? Two, two aluminum threaders. What's that? Oh, I didn't even see this in here. I see one. I did not see this in here before. I wonder if it slid underneath. So there's one. It probably slid underneath. Let me see. No, I just see the one. Then two water water soluble refill. Uh, yes. Oh, that's what they were. Okay. So they came with two almost like ink pen inserts. I was going to go get it. But it's like two ink pen um, inserts, but they're water soluble refills. So they are for you to mark your ada or your cloth and then you could take a uh, a wet damp cloth to wipe it away it won't stain or anything like that i'm not using it <laughs> and then it comes with a pin a pinball which must be the tomato the retro tomato and then 12 safety pins and then two, th okay, so they are both thimbles. So you have this thimble, and then you have this one. And then 32 pearl needles. Awesome, I love it. Literally, it was $9.99, no joke, no joke. And I absolutely love it. I probably will transfer these over so I can put my DMCs in a, in a separate area, uh, not to get them confused with anything else. Oh, and it came with these needles. Did I say something about the needles? I don't think I did. Oh, one set of sewing needles. So it came with those two. I love it. I'm so excited about that. It's so cute. Ooh, do I have, am I doing this right? And it looks like you can add on to it. Add on to the box. Because there's a clamp here and, and a clamp here. Alrighty, so I believe if you've seen my first short, you have seen these. I got these from Walmart. It has my Walmart floss in it. I just call it Walmart floss because that's what it is. There's no, it's not DMC. There's no codes on it. It's just colors. You can try to match them up as much as possible with the DMC code that's fine that is what I did with the autumn with the autumn acorn that was Walmart floss that I used for that project it was not DMC oh my gosh I'm about to sneeze and I have this one too if I sneeze excuse me and I have this one too. So I probably will move that 80 over here and then use that box for the DMC. So that is what I have as far as my, let me double check myself. Oh, and I did get this. Hold on one second, I'm sorry. Okay, and then the last thing I have is a clear ruler. I got this from, of course, the Dollar Tree. Um, I was told, or I saw on YouTube, 
that when you're uh, cutting your Ada, you want to use a clear ruler so you can see through it because what you're counting is those uh, squares. That's what you're measuring up. The squares and you just wanna make sure that it's correct. So I got a clear one. And also I have a quick question. I think I'm gonna ask a, a cross stitch question at the end of my floss two videos. So I'm gonna be doing a sow, which is a stitch along. And it came in a nice booklet, but to find the center of the pattern, not the Ada, but the pattern, it has the arrow on the left on one page, on page one, and then it has the arrow at the top of the page on page two, which was on the opposite side. So I kind of just took my, <laughs> I just kind of took my ruler from the top to the bottom to measure, held my finger there, went back to the first page and tried to measure it up that way. How am I supposed to find out where the center is? I'm not experienced enough to just start, because it's 10 pages. I'm not experienced enough to start my project from like the top left. I need to start in the middle and work my way out. So if anybody knows, has a suggestion or how can I figure that out, please just let me know. I put a little small little highlight on there of where I thought it should start. But you guys just let me know um, what I'm doing wrong or how to fix it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So if you stay to the end of the video, thank you so very much. If you can please leave me a, uh, a rainbow emoji if you stayed to the end. This is for new beginnings. I am starting a new craft. I'm super, super duper excited about it. I am loving it. And um, that will be a way to support my channel for free. Thanks again for you all watching. You all remember to stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.